Jennifer Twist, the mayor of Milwaukee, is supporting the governor in his decision. The reality is that there's only so much capacity uh, in that industry, and I think what you're seeing in other states is you're seeing, uh, with the proliferation of casinos, you're seeing them struggling. And so the decision had to be made as to whether this portion of the state could support two, two casinos, and the decision appears to be that it can't. Club News, Craig McKee is in Kenosha. And Craig, while Mayor Barrett is on board, others on both sides of the aisle say they're disappointed. They were hoping for jobs and development in that area. Absolutely. Joyce, you know, really, it's just shock and disappointment for community leaders from both Kenosha and Racine County. As 12 News' Max Siegel reports tonight, they really saw this as a very much-needed economic boost to the region. It's a beautiful view of Lake Michigan from the mayor's office in Kenosha. But on Friday, it was a little harder for the mayor to enjoy after a big blow for the Kenosha Casino. Very disappointed. I thought we were getting closer to a, a better outcome on this. The mayor can't understand why the governor would reject an $800 million investment in the area, promising around 3,000 jobs. Uh, we still have 6 to 7 percent unemployment here in Kenosha. People who are unemployed, underemployed, and we were really looking forward to the construction jobs. We were looking forward to the jobs once the casino and the, all of the other things that went with it would open. There was also a lot of disappointment today from aerial lawmakers who wanted to see this old dog track become a casino. Politicians on both sides of the aisle were on board with this project. I have already been having my phone blow up uh, with all the people who are um, using the words that I won't put on television for what they want me to tell Governor Walker. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss represents the Racine area. He's actually in agreement with his usual opponent, Peter Barca, from Kenosha County. It's a decision uh, of colossal implications uh, that will hurt our region. That is, uh, and thousands of people that were. Banking on getting jobs because they thought the governor was going to make this happen.